Finally for us here tonight, there are two medication shortages in the news right now for two very different reasons. There's Adderall, the drug that is meant to help people with ADHD. The FDA blames that shortage on manufacturing issues. And there is semaglutide sold as Ozempic or Wegovy, which treats diabetes, but has been at the center of a TikTok trend for people claiming that it helped them lose a lot of weight. People who need both of these drugs in some cases are now having trouble finding them. Joining us live to help us better understand this is Bradley Arthur, manager at the Black Rock Pharmacy on Tonawanda Street in Buffalo. Really appreciate you taking some time for us. And first off, I wonder um, how these shortages are impacting us specifically here in Western New York. I mean, is this something that we're dealing with or is this a problem somewhere sure. else? Yeah, we're not immune from these shortages. Just today, I looked at my major wholesaler, which is $160 billion a year company and they are completely out of stock on Ozempic out of the warehouse that services my pharmacy. So this is a very real thing. Uh, these shortages generally ease up in time. I fully expect sometime early or later this week that the Ozempic supplies will return. Adderall has been a little bit trickier. You know, Adderall has been a little bit spottier, tougher to uh, to procure because of the nature of the drug, it's a controlled substance, so it's a little bit difficult. But but, but our area, Buffalo at large, is not immune from the shortages uh, involving Ozempic. Yeah, and good to know that hopefully that is a, a shorter term thing. But we think about sure. all the shortages that we've dealt with over the past couple of years, so many, you know, supply chain problems. And it's one thing if you can't get, you know, a particular brand of a food that you want at the grocery store, because maybe there's an alternative. Um, in some cases here, that, that, that just doesn't work the same way, right? There are some generic forms of yeah. medications, but you need what you need. Um, what are you telling people or what are they doing if they can't get their hands on what they need? So we're, we're working diligently to um, access secondary and tertiary suppliers to be able to get these much needed medications to patients. Uh, the shortages, the supply chain issues have been impacting the pharmaceutical sector. It's really a multitude of issues though. It's uh, labor shortages at uh, the prime manufacturer of, of Adderall tablets in the country is contributing to that. Not enough people around to, to bring manufacturing up to levels that are required. The pandemic has actually accelerated the demand for these types of drugs. So you have demand issues. In the case of Ozempic, Ozempic is uh, very widely promoted on television for the treatment of type two diabetes, but many folks are learning, as you referenced in the TikTok video, that there's other benefits to it like weight loss. So it's very tricky. So the demand for Ozempic has created these shortages as much as any supply chain issue has. It's just the, the, the demand has exploded in this particular category of pharmaceuticals. Yeah, I wonder when you have a customer who comes in and, and watch those TikTok videos, um, especially right now when you're dealing with a shortage, are, are you then sort of forced to prioritize it for the people who need this um, for as a diabetes medication? Um, and, and what are you yeah. telling people who say, hey, I wanna try this for weight loss? You know, there are, there are still some barriers in place that protect those folks that desperately need it. One such barrier is most of these drugs are covered by insurance. They, are, they cost an upward uh, in excess of $800. So mm. a, a young person watching TikTok is not going to go out and spend cash to buy this particular drug, at least in most cases they're not. So most, most Ozempic is covered under an insurance plan and most insurance plans require the physician practitioner to do some due diligence and make certain that these are being used appropriately for patients that have type two diabetes. So it's very rare in my practice that I see people that are just trying to, to lose weight because of something they may have seen online. There are natural curves in place to help prevent that. Uh, the sad part is, is even legitimate uses have exploded during COVID. You know, you have a lot of folks that are dealing with um, early onset symptoms of diabetes because of uh, the isolation involved over the last two years. So uh, sadly, you know, as a society, you know, we're in a position where the demand has been just, to, like I said, it's exploded exponentially. Hmm. Bradley Arthur with Black Rock Pharmacy. Uh, you're always kind to share your time with us when we have these, uh, these issues that we need some clarification on. So thank you for coming on. Happy Halloween. All right, you as well. And thank you everybody for joining us. That's gonna do it for the town hall.